What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today we're going to be talking about the Helicon Tex mini rig right here. Before we dive into you know the specs, the features, how it did, what I think about it, I want to give you guys some disclaimers. First things first, these people don't know who I am. Helicon Tex is a Polish company. They have never heard from me. I've never asked them for anything. I have never communicated with them. I have never done anything. I bought this online. At Amazon, I was looking for, you know, a little chest rig, and this is what I came across, and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I picked it up there. So they don't know who I am. There's not influence, no bias whatsoever. Second thing, Basement Operator Company. Basement Operator Company is our apparel line here. That's how we fund a lot of these videos, how you pick up, how we pick up chest rigs on our own dime to give reviews on and to give you guys our opinions. So if you want to go head on over to basinoperator.com, there you can check out our apparel and you know help us out so we really appreciate it second thing if you don't check out basement operator company classic country land is the biggest sponsor of the channel and one of the biggest supporters that help fund this these videos as well so we want to give a big shout out to them and thank you to them uh, they can be found in the link in the description there you can check out their website they're a realty company they sell awesome big pieces of land and they also smell sell smaller pieces of subdivided land as well so if you're looking to pick up you know buy land all across the united states check out classic country land so big thank you to them without further ado let's talk about this mini rig right here this little chest rig a little background on all of this and how it all got started is we've been running plate carriers here on the channel if, if you've been following us for a long time and i've never had kind of a chest rig i've never had been in the market for a chest rig. Usually all my stuff's on my plate carrier from IFAX to uh, magazines, running plates, the whole nine yards. And I was kind of getting tired of it. They aren't light and you know, sometimes you don't need all of that. Sometimes you don't need the plate and the everything that comes with a full entire vest. So I was in the market for a chest rig, posted it out on the YouTube channel and on Instagram, I asked, I think I polled on Instagram and I didn't really get any, a lot of things that I thought were, you know, useful. A lot of people recommended like Cry's chest rig and a lot of chest rigs that are super, super expensive. And I didn't want to spend like $200 on a chest rig. So I did some looking around, found Helicon Tex on Amazon and this was a hundred and nine bucks. They have a ton of awesome colors this one was the fde uh, with green and i decided to pick it up and give it a go and make a video on it for you guys to tell you guys my opinion on it in case you're wanting kind of an affordable chest trick don't know much about helicon tex i did some you know just basic look up i know they're a polish company so they're european you can buy their stuff on their website as well i think their website prices are a little bit cheaper than the actual Amazon price. So the Amazon price was like 119 or 120. And if you go look up on their website, let me double check here on the iPad, is 109. So for this thing was 109. And it's a pretty cool little chest rig. It offers a lot of things that I like, and there's some things I don't quite like about it. So let me tell you, uh, let me take it off here. And that's kind of the first thing. So I'm taking this off. I will not put this back on in the video because I have a hard time putting it on by myself. To get it where I want it to sit on me, I have to get this thing super tight. I'll show you guys what I mean. So you saw how I had it. Um, I could put the cummerbund, the one, the middle, I guess it's not really a cummerbund, but the one on pretty easily. But if I want to do the back one, I mean, it is, there is as, as much slack as I could possibly get on it. I can get this one in. And I can get this one in. But it's really difficult. And this is this is about the height that I like it. But it I really have to you know tighten these things to all get out to get it to where I, I like it in terms of my height. So I don't know if it just sits lower in general. Well, that's like my biggest complaint on it. Um, when I first got it, there was a little bit of stitching that's popped out here, which you can see, which, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Easy to take care of, just like that. But, you know, one of the things maybe you wouldn't like to see. But that's kind of like my biggest complaint about it. 
So let me go over the stuff I do like about it, the stuff I think that are pretty sweet about this thing. There's two different patterns, and I'm gonna be the first to tell you that I'm a little unfamiliar with the two pattern type. This one's kind of like an H pattern where it sits on your back, uh, it wraps around, does the cummerbund as well. Um, in terms of what it comes with, it comes with two big admin pouches here in the front. So if you want to run, I don't know, an IFAC in it, um, this one right here, we just have it range day, got it for the range day stuff. So there's just some Sharpies in there right now, nothing crazy. Hunter, you can zoom in on that. There's a little zipper here in the front you know that allows you to shove crap in there if you want to have a notepad or whatever it is and there's another zipper right here that lets you shove other crap in there so a nice little admin pouch um, velcro with a little chameleon on it right here which is pretty cool and then you flip it down and you have another admin pouch where you can see we have a you know a light some paracord then our little sticky things so we just have you know basic range day stuff in it um, I usually run my IFAC on my battle belt, but that would be an awesome, another sweet little place. Maybe you put like a little, you know, like a medical patch right there to make sure everybody knows that that's your IFAC. If you want to, you run your IFAC right there. Working to like the business side of the carrier, we have these four little pistol mag pouches where you can run stuff like I have a flashlight in one, then I have two spare Glock mags, and this one was running empty. I'm going to get a multi-tool to put in that one. I just haven't got around to grabbing the multi-tool out of the drawer yet. So two pistol and then the tools on this side. And then as for, in terms of like mag inserts and whatnot, you have four places for rifle mags. If you want to, you know, run AK mags or whatever it is you're running, you can do that. Uh, these are mag inserts. So let me rip this sucker out here. Uh, the main, the main pouch itself is mag inserts. So you can rip that out and you can replace that with other stuff, whether you're running some more intense like AR 10 mags or something. Uh, that's a nice little feature right there. It's super affordable. And so far I've been very happy with it. We've taken it, you know, this is not a super long-term review. We haven't had this thing for months and months and months on end. We've had it for about a month now when we've been taking it to the range. Um, I got it a little bit after Christmas. So I've, I'm hoping to spend a lot more time with it as time goes on. And if you check me out on Instagram, so link, you know, all that great stuff down in the description, you can see some pretty sweet photos of it. Cause that's, you know, the most important thing about any type of stuff like this is how cool it looks when you're LARPing, which looks very cool, which is, you know, the important thing. So check me out on Instagram, but we're hoping to spend a lot more time with it and hoping to uh, get it on the range a lot more. But in terms of the first, you know, month worth of taking it out shooting, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And you can see here, I'm struggling to get that last piece back there. Cause that's one of the things I hate about this thing. It's how hard it is to put on. And Hunter, I'm gonna flip around. You can get how the pattern is on the back. So you can see how it sits or how it would sit there. But overall, it's a nice little chest rig. I, I might remove this bottom patch right here so because it's only attached with molly down there uh and you're running you know hits but overall I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it i think it's a good versatile little chest rig it's comfortable it might sit a little bit too low unless you adjust it but maybe that's just a me thing maybe i'm an idiot maybe i don't know what i'm doing but just i think the most important thing is it feeling comfortable for me to get me comfortable using it um you know with my reloads and pulling mags out and whatnot. I know if you get it too high, it might hit you in the face, but there's like, this, there's a, this sweet spot, you know? It's right, it's right around the nipple range. So uh, that's where I like to keep it. Just in case you're unfamiliar with Helicon Tex, they seem to make really, really nice, high quality products. And for $109, you know, compared to like the 200, 250, $300 chest rigs, it's worth the checking out, especially if you're just getting it for taking it out to the range. You don't, you're not trying to do anything crazy with it. You're not, you know, 
fighting wars with you know your plate carrier on every time you go to the range you just want a little rig that has the you know your ifac stuff if that's what you want to run in it you know a little notepad some sharpies whatever you may have extra mags a light and then you know a multi-tool little stuff like that this thing will hold it all and it'll hold it all good and you know it'll look pretty sweet which is the most important thing when you're LARPing. i'll link their amazon down below so you can go check them out on amazon you can also go check out their website if you you search them so either or thanks again for watching i also want to thank classic country land for sponsoring the channel helping us out um, and supporting us so big thank you to them too go check them out their link is down below as well so make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one as always take someone outdoors peace